fishing Shasta Lake and uh, we're still running a, a little bit behind schedule for our season. Um, it's, it's still a little, little like spring here. Um, our water temperatures are, are warming up, but we're still waiting for that thermocline to establish itself in a, in a you know, layer up in the lake. But um, so what that does for us is it, it concentrates a lot of the bait fish into a, into a you know, specific area of the, the lake's water column. And that helps us target um, you know, our game fish like uh, rainbow trout, brown trout. Um, and it's, it, it makes our fishing uh, a lot easier. Good job. Perfect. Jeff, do we think it's a keeper? Or is it too early to tell? I think, I think this is going to be a keeper. I don't see him coming out of the water though. I don't see Ariel. Oh, there we go. Head shake. Head shake. Yep. Did you see the fish? No, not yet. Check the drag, make sure that he takes off. Yeah, we'll just pull a little line. Oh, nice. okay. You saw it? What that the? Looks like a brown. Oh, it is a brown. Oh. Oh. oh, boy. That's a big brown. He's up top. He's on top. <laughs> All right. Hey, we're out here today on Shasta Lake catching a rainbow trout, brown trout. Uh, we're using a Potsky's fire brine uh, shad and uh, Mike's uh, uh, gel scent, uh, UV gel scent work on this guy here. Uh, this is a, you know, about an average brown for Shasta Lake. Uh, we catch them year round. Uh, this time, you know, spring, uh, early summer, and then winter is when we, we get our best brown trout fishing. Right now we're, we're primarily fishing the 20 to 30 foot column um, in the water and uh, the way we're doing that is, is we're trolling um, fire brine uh, shad. Uh, it's, it's frozen bait but uh, we rig it um, like I've, I've shown in, in previous videos uh, with Potsky Outdoors um, how, to, how to set those up and uh, the rainbows and, and even the bass, you know, all species of the fish in the lake love shad because that's the primary forage uh, in this particular lake. One of the things that we're using today to catch these uh, these rainbows and browns um, are shad. They're thread fin shad. Um, you can buy them at, at you know bait shops um, throughout California. But they're a really effective bait, especially in lakes where you have um, you know thread fin shad as a, a, a primary source of feed for these fish. So that makes them really effective. And one of the ways that we present these baits um, that, that the fish really seem to respond well to is we, um, we rig them up with a double hook rig. Um, you know, we got an octopus hook uh, that slides up and down the leader. And then we have our, uh, our treble hook uh, in the back as a trailer. And it's really pretty easy. You know, if you can, you can learn this knot, you know, it's just a kind of a bait loop knot that slides <coughs> up and down the, the main section of the leader and allows you to position the hooks in the fish so that it, it uh, will roll properly when you're rigging it. So first thing I do is I take this octopus hook and I just go into the, the bottom of the jaw. These gloves are slippery. And then I'm gonna come up through the forehead. Um, you know, we got some, some bone there and it makes it makes it a little little more rigid of a tie. So now we're going to take our trailing hook and we're just going to put it into the side here. And you, it's going to go just below the, the spine of the fish. Now I'm pulling on this leader and you're going to see here in a second that leader is just going to pull the fish into a little bit of a, of a, a, a concave shape. And with that, um, what you get is you get a, a bait that has a little bit of bow to it. And you can add a little or you can add a lot. If you want your bait to really swing wide, you just keep tightening it up. And anything like that is going to put a real good spin on that bait. And it's going to going to shine uh, and flash and attract fish uh, with both the scent and the appearance. Ooh, it's not bad. I don't know what it is.
we get to Rainbow? Yeah. It's a bass. That looks like a better fish, doesn't it? Never tell. Fire Brian Shat fish, though. He's gonna do something here. Yeah, it looks darker, doesn't it? I think it's a bass. It's a bass. Yep. Thank you, Jeff. My well done. Look at that, Shasta River, Shasta Lake bass. Woo. Okay, so you can see here that we have a, a, a natural brine um, shad, and this is a chartreuse brine shad. Uh, the chartreuse is a, is a really, really vibrant color. Um, this, is, this has got uh, fire brine um, overnight, and it's also um, got fire dye in it to give it that really, really, um, you know, sharp standout color. Um, Shasta Lake has different different periods of the year where we're going to have really clear water and we're going to have periods of the year where we're going to have, um, you know, a, a stained or colored water, um, depending on the season. Also, you know, during summertime, we'll get colored water just from wind waves and, and wakes from, from other boats going up against the bank and it pulls, you know, the uh, color, the, the mud line off the bank. So one way to, to get around that, um, one way to make sure that the fish see your baits is to uh, to use the the uh, chartreuse fire brine and, and fire dye and really clear water conditions you don't need this pop you don't need all this color in the water um, so natural um, or, or blues or, or any of those colors are going to be a, a great choice for clear water situations oh no he's on there it's a trout yeah rainbow we finally got rid of the bass. <laughs> He's fighting, huh? Cross the lake rainbow trout. Look at that. Woo! You're Isn't acting it? like you got a steelhead. I do. Cross <laughs> the lake steelhead, Chris. That's a fire brine shad fish. Yeah, baby. That was on the downrigger? You're good. And now he's free. Look at that. One round. Okay, go ahead and raise it up. Toy, thank you. Perfect. That's not a bad fish, actually. I think it's better than you think it is. Shasta Lake. Rainbow oh, trout. It's a trout. We got a double? We got another we got one. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Jeff was right there. good. Fishing oh, is it's a bass. good. Oh, we got a bass. All right, Billy Billy the bass. Yeah, so one of the ways that we uh, we enhance the fishability and um, the the appeal of these spoons that we fish here um, is to use Mike's trout gel scent. Um, this stuff is really sticky. Um, it has a, a really distinct um, smell to it, and there's all kinds of different um, you know varieties that you can use. But um, you know we're here in in, in Shasta Lake. Uh, we got lots of trout here, so I like to use the trout scent. Um, garlic scents are, are also one of my favorites. So I like to, you know, a lot of the surface that you're going to get from this uh, movement you're going to get from the spoon is going to be on the bottom, right, in that concave section. So just to make clean things up, make them make them easy to, to deal with, easy to manage, and to make sure that your scent is going to get uh, pulled off the bottom of that spoon and dispersed into the water column. Um, this is a, a good choice for. Um, any application for, for catching fish, trout, especially on Shasta Lake. Okay, so this is the uh, the uh, UV gel scent, um, and probably uh, you know as far as this year goes, and years in the past, this is probably my top producer. Um, everyone knows trout love night crawlers, and everybody knows that trout are attracted to garlic, um, and so this is my number one number one scent. Um, same thing. Um, I just put it on the on the concave section of the lower part of the spoon. You know, it adds color too. You know, so red on any 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 bait pattern 
is going to be a good thing. Um, predator fish love to eat injured, injured bait fish, so sometimes that red, I think, makes a difference. Okay, that's a good sign. Ooh, ooh, did you see that? That looked like a silver, silver colored. All right. What was that? Did you see that over there? Something big just came to the surface and grabbed something. Yeah, on the top. Yeah, that's trout. Okay, I'm gonna scoot you over. Actually, put the rod tip over here. Go ahead. Lift, lift high, high, high. There you go. And that—that's not a bad rainbow. No, that's a beautiful I, rainbow. I know we're spoiled with this guy right here, <laughs> but that's a nice rainbow. All right, Shasta Lake. We got some uh, good rainbow bite going right now. Got a brown in the box, lots of bass. Today's episode of Pots Get Durst comes to you during the spring here on Lake Shasta. As everybody knows, it's one of Shasta's premier fishing destinations. Uh, today we're out with Jeff Goodwin of Jeff Goodwin's Guide Service. He has the lake dialed in all the time. The one thing that was against us today was that there was a full moon. Anybody knows during a full moon event, a lot of the fish feed at night, the bite's tougher during the day. Luckily, that didn't affect us today. Probably because Jeff knows what he's doing. He's got a good bait, he knows where to troll. And he had great scent out there today. So we started out at first light, came over to the I-5 bridge and did a little bit of trolling around there. Picked up a lot of fish today. You know, to be honest with you, we're not gonna show them because we didn't come here to catch them. Probably caught two dozen bass uh, trolling shad. And as you guys can see, those shad are soaked in chartreuse firebrine and natural firebrine. You see the two different colors right here. Then we also used a lot of spoons. So we did half and half today. Sometimes we had four rods out. Sometimes we had six rods out. And every time we did, I would say three were with those shad. And the other three were your spoons. And all those spoons were coated today in two baits, uh, or scents, I should say. Atlas Mike's Trout UV Gel Scent and the Garlic Nightcrawler UV Gel Scent. Uh, Jeff uses these every single day. He loves them, he thinks he makes a difference, and it gives him confidence, and it did with us today as well. As you can see, we caught some beautiful browns, some awesome rainbows, and for a lot of people, these would be fish of a lifetime. However, it seems like every time we go out with Jeff Goodwin, we catch quality fish like this. It's amazing how dialed in the lake this sea is. It's also amazing the quality of fish this lake grows. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're gonna show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.